Hello and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. Welcome back to the farm. So, yeah, you're just catching me as I try my best at painting. It is a bit expensive, but I think it's fine. Because I want this place to be nice, you know? So, I think it's okay that we use some money on this. And there we go. Yeah, the field is looking... Much nicer now. I could have placed it down here, but yeah, I just don't. The silo and whatnot. Plus, it's right next to the chickens. I don't know if that in real life has a negative factor. If you know anything about that, do let me know down below in the comments. Um, but I guess we could always technically move it. So yeah, I'm recording this episode right after the last episode has ended. So we will get right to doing some grass work for these uh, for these sheep. We don't have sheep yet, but we are going to get them in this episode. Before we do though, I will rest and move on to the next month, because in July is when we can harvest the canola, which is awesome. So if we put ourselves in June, then we set up the sheep and whatnot, and then we can, in the next episode, start working with the canola. So I'll see you in June. Also, I want to make sure that we are not missing a great opportunity for either a tractor or a, in this case, a mower or a baler, because we will be using either of those today. All right. I think, uh, yep, it is raining, but the rain should stop very soon. I love the rain sounds. All right. Really quickly first. Anything in field 50 or 51? Nope. Nothing, unfortunately. All right. Animals, the chickens are fine. Yep, they do still have food, so that's good. Okay, use machinery. Anyone? Well, hmm. Uh, okay, hold on. <laughs> okay. A forage wagon collects grass, hay, or straw. That is one of the things I was considering getting. Uh, planter. Oh, a pla wait, a planter. Okay, it's only a working width of three, but this thing can plant things like sunflowers and corn, but uh, yeah, that's too small of a working width, I think, for us. And a tether is made to make hay as well. A forest wagon collects grass. Uh, hmm. And of course, this John Deere tractor, which... Yeah, we can't afford it, unfortunately. Uh, I don't think there's anything for us, really. We want to make sure that we're not missing a good contract for something that the... Uh, no. Nope. All right. So, if we go into packs here and go into grass work... Actually, uh, I want to make sure I get something that's good. That I don't just miss something here. All right, no, I'm not, <laughs> I don't think so anyway. Uh, working with, oh, actually, wait a minute. Working with, this is cheaper and has a bigger working width. But then maybe it won't be able to have a baler attached to it. Okay, we're gonna lease this. And then we're gonna go back into baling technology. And I'm either gonna get this or this, depends, 2400. This is round bales. This is tiny square bales. Um, which is going to be cheaper, of course. Uh, hmm. I mean, honestly, it doesn't look like the bale size is much different. I'll lease this. And we can see how, how good it is. So, we are going to head over to the farm shop, the vehicle shop. We're gonna attach the things that we just bought and we're gonna go around the edges of our property. So up here for example we can mow the grass and we can turn it into bales that we can then give the sheep. And we do want quite a few because we want to obviously not have to mow the grass every single month. So we want to fill up the trough but also have a bunch in storage. So hopefully we will be able to do that with this. Time will indeed tell, but there is our equipment. I'm pretty sure I should be able to attach the front mower and then run the baler behind it. So we're doing everything at once, basically. I think that should be possible. Of course, all of this stuff is leased. It's not ours. But 
this is so far we have only paid we've paid less than if we were uh, were to buy two grass bales which would be 2800 we have paid less for this setup so so far <laughs> we're doing pretty good all right in here we go and i'm going to bring this over to wait there we go unfold that ooh hold the phone we almost have a full pallet of honey Ooh, that's beautiful. How much does honey go for, I wonder? Let's see. Uh, honey. So for a thousand liters. A thousand liters, two thousand dollars. Hmm. So a thousand dollars for this pallet at a good price. That doesn't sound too bad, you know. All right. Let's see how this works. So if I lower this. I move the what's to this and I lower... The baler. I unfold the baler first of all. I turn on the baler. And I turn on the mower. I should be able to do all this. Yes. In one go without missing anything. Oh, that's cool. I could use the forest wagon as well. And then I would just be collecting the grass that way instead of bales. But I like the idea of the bales. So... Yeah. This is a pretty interesting setup. There's a tree in the way. <laughs> there goes one bale. And one bale seems to be around a thousand liters, maybe? No, 500 liters. Okay. Yeah, round bale might have been better for this. Okay, so control B turns everything off. Yeah, I do think maybe a round bale would have been better for this specific task. <laughs> we would have been able to store a bit more, I think. And also have to do less collection work, but not too bad. Not too bad at all. We just gotta get a pretty good area to collect the grass from, which I don't know how much area we have that is easy to drive on with a setup like this because we won't be able to go over to that field, for example. We would need to stop here, and then turn around, and then continue. Hmm. Well, it's working, so I guess I'll continue with this for a bit, and we'll see what the result is when I'm done. Stay tuned. Alright, so far, I think, so good. Uh, I definitely should have probably taken the round baler or any other baler than this one, because obviously this one drops a lot of small ones, whereas the round baler can fit probably 3,500 liters in one round bale, whereas this one is only 500 liters. So, yeah, probably a mistake on that part, or I should have taken the forage wagon. 
but no matter, this was still very cheap compared to <laughs> the bale that I would have had to buy if I hadn't done this. So, yeah, not too bad at all. Now, it was a bit, maybe a bit messy, uh, I want to say anyway. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna lift everything up. And I want to collect everything that I've gotten so far on my flatbed trailer. And I want to see how much grass we actually have. Because I think we have quite a few thousand liters. Maybe enough to get us started. Um, but yeah, getting a grass field, in fact, maybe converting the field back here, or the rest of it, I should say, into grass temporarily is most definitely going to be necessary. But yeah, what I'm going to do now, or in fact, I think I'm going to do that, but again, I could just convert one of our fields into grass. Um, yeah, if we, if we were to buy a new field, which is definitely something that I want to do. The nice thing about these is I can pick them up without having to enable super strength. The question is, can I stack them? Hmm. N nope. <laughs> that did not work whatsoever. We will take the ones by the road first. How about that? And I mean, that's quite a few. I think I count seven, nope, eight, just on this strip alone so that would be how much would that be so 500 times 8 that should be 4,000 liters so that would be a little bit over one big round bale if it is the D3500 so yeah definitely a bigger bale or a bit of collection system would be ideal for the future but for now this might be enough to get us started Oop. Don't fall. Not now, anyway. I said don't fall. There we go. Nice. It doesn't say... Oh, okay, so far we have 5,000... 4,000... Oh, yeah, I think we have, like, 10,000 liters in that case. I think, because I dropped a bunch over in that direction as well. So, yeah, I think we have plenty of grass to get us started. I don't know if it says how much capacity it is. Um, it says sheep barn up there, but it doesn't give us any information on that. So, I guess we will have to see. Do we have one over here? We do have one over here. And the grass, it might not look the greatest, but it will grow back eventually. Not too big of a deal. There. Nice. And final one in this sector. Come on. There we go. Nice. Alright, 6,000 liters so far. Uh, gotta undo those. So this will then be 7,000. Did I leave any over here? Nope, don't think so. They are kind of cute, these bales, huh? They're miniature square bales. <laughs> I like it. All right, over by the sheep barn. And yeah, I think I might as well convert this into grass because, yeah, if it's a grass field and it is fertilized or has some fertilizer on it, yeah, it could yield quite a lot, a lot more than this, this would, so... Okay, so it took that. I wonder if it will say... Nope, doesn't say anything. It just says food 531 liters. And it doesn't say anything in here. Right, well... I guess we could buy the sheep now, because we do have... We do have enough of the trailer to get things started, so... I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that, actually. So these sheep, they're older. Um, well, this one is, and this one is, and this one is. Uh, buying non not so old sheep would be 
cheaper, but then they can't reproduce. So yeah, this is the lamb animals that are healthy and older than eight months can reproduce. So this one can reproduce. So what type do we want? I really do like black sheep, but I also, hmm. I think I'll pick this, uh, these right here. Uh, and we're gonna go with, if I were to get, let's say 10 of these, that would be 5,000. And then they can reproduce the rest. And let's get eight. Eight sounds like a good, yeah, I'm gonna buy that. Bah, hey fellas, welcome back to your, oh, welcome back, welcome to your new home. Okay, and I'm getting stuck in the fence and the tree, there we go, okay. So, uh, food. Seems like they can house like 6,000 liters, maybe? Let's, let's, uh, let's find out, oh, come on, grab it. One at a time. I could probably drive up with the trailer. And it would accept everything that it needs. Oh wow, yeah, it can house, I think, 5,000 maybe. 6,000 wasn't that far off. Yep, it's full. So yeah, I definitely have plenty of grass here for now, I think. Um, we will have to see how much they consume in a month. So I think we will skip to the next month, or not skip, but we will progress to the next month after I have returned the leased equipment and collected all the remaining bales on the other side of this fence or hedge. But yeah, they are gonna eat pretty well here. All right, let me get the other bales. All right, so I just returned the mower because we won't be needing that again, but I still have the baler because there are a few spots like right here that I do want to collect because I hate it <laughs> when there's spots like that. It doesn't mean much, but yeah, just just annoys me just a little bit. Did I? Hmm. I do need to follow my trail here. Oh yeah, I didn't produce any bales here. For some reason, didn't take the grass here. I guess it was too close to the road or something. I don't know. Yeah, these spots, they are annoying me. I do not like them. So I will come and scoop it up here as well. Plus, it's a waste just leaving it when we can collect it in the baler and get, at the very least, maybe part of a bale out of it. There we go, 4,500 liters more of grass. Not too bad at all. That's almost a full food thingy. Let's get them offloaded here. I will cut this part out because it's probably boring to watch, so uh, I won't make you. Well, technically, even if I did add it in, I couldn't make you watch it, so... Hmm. Interesting. Interesting indeed. I could just include it. And keep talking over it, tricking you into watching the entire thing. Because in the spaces between me saying something, something could happen, or I could say something interesting, like squirrel. Hmm, this is <laughs> quite a stack we have gotten here. Not too shabby. All right, let me get that baler and get those final pieces. Pack this trailer here for now, because we will be needing it for the letters pretty... Well, I want to say pretty soon, but it's probably not time to sell the letters just yet. Nope, it's not. That would be in February, so... Yeah, that's a, that's a little bit from now. Bees! Alright. I think I can say... Why? And we'll push out the bales that are ready. So another 500 liters one, and another 500 liter. There we go. Sweet. And I can detach that, and I can return you. Definitely, we didn't use it for that long, but definitely worth the money. So that is all we gotta do whenever we need to feed the sheep. And the more land we get, the more grass we'll get. I don't know if I'm going to seed into that field, because I do want to buy a new field very soon. 
and then we could turn one of our exist as I was saying, and then we can turn one of our existing fields into a gra into a grass field. Hmm. Seem to be in a bit of a pickle. There we go. But yeah, the bailer did put one out right here. <laughs> and then we have another one right down here, right down the path. I got it in my sights. Bail, nine o'clock. Acquired. Nice. Oh, wait a minute. We got a strangler. <laughs> An escapee. Let's get that one on top there. There we go. All right. Okay, that should be all the bales now. 1,500 extra liters. We should be good for... I say quite a... Bit, actually, I don't know how much they're going to actually take per month, but we will figure that out very very shortly here Attention those. I mean we got a pretty good stack here But I would also rather only have two big bales rather than 20 small bales when it comes to performance but uh, Yeah, I think I'm gonna put the trail out here actually we could just add concrete here and put another shed up here, then we would have space for more equipment, like grass equipment, I guess. Because seems like we are gonna be working with that. Making silage would be sweet as well. Maybe have a silage pit or something? Would be cool. Anyways, I'm gonna plop that there and we're gonna rest. I think chickens have the food they need. Yep, they should have enough food for Yeah, a month's time We'll uh, give them more food in the next episode for now. I just want to see in the next month the canola will be ready to harvest All I want to do though is see how much the sheep actually consume. Well, I might not be able to see it, but it should take a few bales Because Yeah, yeah, it should it should take a few bales from the stack if we don't see it, then that's because it took a little bit from each and every bale. Uh, yeah, they do need food. They're, of course, full. The canola is very much ready to be harvested. And let's head on over to the sheep and see how they do. Hey, chickens, I'll give you food in the next episode. Our first pallet of wool. Very lovely. I think a few are missing. I think a few are missing, yeah. So I don't actually get to see how much they actually consumed. Didn't think about that. But anyways, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. We got sheep. Ah, It's sleeping. Nice. Alright, yep, that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. Really hope you have enjoyed. Oh dear, I see the weather forecast. Oh boy. Rain at 11 and 12. I wonder if we can harvest at that time. Yeah. Seems like I gotta go. <laughs> I got some harvesting to do. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day, and goodbye.